Hello and welcome to another Those Odd Gamers Let's Play. This time we've got Double May Cry 3. I'm Wormtelling and joining me on our... Mech King. Ozzy. Oh, hell goes on us! Wait, that's a <laughs> nice <laughs> image there. Dante. Yes, this game is awesome! God damn it, Dante, you broke the camera! <sighs> Great job. Everyone, back your places. Let's try this again. Devil may cry. Yeah, I am here too, but nobody cares. I care. Why I have a go. question. I don't care. Yes. Thank you for being here, You've heard of it, haven't you? Uh, if you spoiler. take the yellow, when, young, you, when you die, you start the entire level over. Oh, if you don't have a yellow orb, times. if you die on gold, you go to the last room that you were safe in. With his sword, Unless you have a gold orb, then you can the spend that and just get up in the middle of the battle again. It's a nice compromise between the two different, like, it, it, it comes down to per, uh, personal yeah. choice, because I don't think it affects, like, style ranking or anything like that. No, all, all the only thing it affects is whether or not you go to the start of the level again if you die. And I took gold just because it would be much easier to edit if I did die, and because... I the same some, blood of sometimes I take a lot of damage during a level, and I don't have enough enemies. to fight the boss. And I'd rather just not replay the same level over and over again. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure. So yeah, I went with fighting. gold, so I could just keep going with the levels and edit easier. Also, uh, some cutscenes are awesome. Did Dante get stabbed again? Yes. When does he not? <sighs> Damn it, Dante, would you stop getting stabbed? But in it's so easy, though. Only one was left standing. Yep. Let's see, he looks a lot like Dante, but he flips his hair back. Well, they are That's twins. Over, for Here's a loading screen. It yeah, must it. die. Yep, killed the loading screen. And now we have got seen that everybody who has ever seen anything of Devil May Cry 3 has seen. Yeah, let this be the cut. This is the real part of the game where you get the. You get, it's a it's a proper introduction as to what to expect from this game, because if watch this the previous is one, Dante, not open for business yet. It just it's not open yet. Justice. I haven't even picked a name for this joint, and I'm already getting calls. <laughs> like I said, this really just shows what kind of a character you should expect from Dante. You a customer too? Well, doesn't even look him in the face. Bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante? Son of Sparta. What do you Just think? Dante. From your brother. Dante's got bling. He sent this invitation for you. Oh, this guy looks you trustworthy, fellow. Is it an invitation to a party? I like parties. Uh, I like pizza. And this is making me want pizza. Well, mm -hmm. most like mm -hmm. <laughs> Invitation, huh? They could have just said that there is pizza at the party and Dante would have, go, have, have gone there. No, it's dead. They're gonna stab him. Game over. Oh, damn it, Dante! Would you stop getting uh, stabbed? Wait. Yeah, but if if this if, uh, if, doesn't if, look like game over. Yeah, if this game was done like uh, today, it doesn't have been played. But press X or die. 
Nokia. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that because when you're playing through this game normally, if if all those enemies realistically hit you like that in the battle, this I'm pretty sure that would have been enough demons to kill you. Let's rock. Especially on a new game playthrough uh, uh, with your health bar solo. Oh, and the fawns! This piece of shit jukebox! That is how you fix malfunctioning technology, after all. Indeed. The fist wrench, the only wrench you need. <laughs> This Dante is so cool! I guess he wasn't hungry. I love this intro. It, cause, it's one of those cases in the game where you, uh, that you actually can do a lot of the tricks he pulls off. But you but can't do the billiards. Not. <laughs> Don't bet on it. Come on, that was a brand new pool table. Yeah, but well, yeah, cool. you have to end play now. Yep, time to play. Alright. Against the first uh, enemies of the game, your typical mooks. Yep. Vanilla of the vanilla. You hit them a few times, they die. That's what happens here. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, though, you are pretty limited in what you can do off. Because uh, uh, you only have access to the Rebellion and Ebony and Ivory. Which are both. Great, by the way. There you well, go. That's the thing you need to do for games like this. Your default weapon is kind of the most accessible. Not the yeah. best, just the most accessible. Well, they end up being some of the best weapons in the game. Yeah, and I keep both Rebellion and Ebony and Ivory as my primary weapons through the entire playthrough. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I well, the the best part about Rebellion that it, I've always really liked it was that it's probably got it's got really good range to it for a long sword, and a lot of its combo attacks are really easy to pull off. And on top of that, it's it gets the Stinger move by default, and Stinger no, is one of the best attack skills in the game. It does not. I'm pretty sure you can get to start with Stinger. Then why did it not activate when I tried Stinger to the uppercut here? No, it's not. Oh wait, Stinger's the dash attack, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah you yeah, don't spell it No, you don't. Okay, but still, it's Stinger is really easy. And, and you, don't start off, you don't start off with Stinger, Air Hike, any of the really good moves that you get later on in the game. No, you don't start with them, but you can get them. Yeah, and... Skills are for like Stinger yeah. and Air Hiker weapon specific. Like you have to actually have the weapon equipped to use those abilities. Yep. That was crazy. Looks like it was a crazy party. But here's, but it was not a great party because you're gonna that remember was just this. Just the morning. invitation. Well, you still got your pizza. That guy stepped on pizza. He dies next. <laughs> no, he dies. Alright, let's go to the party. I can already tell. Looks like this is gonna be one hell of a party! I can't be oh, yet in oh, the fresh. So, this is the mission. Stop breaking clear. the camera! Eh, A rank. Not bad. Not bad. Also, on oh, those little level. loaded you can only screens so right much. there, in between missions, there is, the number for the mission is always hidden in it. 
also you can find some him. reason. And also you can find him in the cutscene as well. Yes. I haven't found all of the numbers in all the cutscenes, but I found most of them personally. Some are really obvious, while others are really cryptic. <laughs> yeah. You guys totally wrecked my shop, and I haven't even named it yet. Dante, that was partly your fault too. You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> Who's gonna name that, that shop? We might find out. That was definitely their fault as well. God damn it. I need to... Guess I'm not getting my security deposit back. But I'm Who would get Dante a security deposit? I'm, I'm wondering, yeah. Uh, well, to be fair, the team did start attacking him until after he moved in, so he had to get the security deposit in there. One question. Can we talk about the music in this game and how fantastic it is. Of course. Is it fantastic it music? I've done it. It's really rockin' heavy metal. If that's your thing, yeah, it's totally great. Well, for a game like this, what kind of soundtrack are you getting to use? Ozzy was hoping for soft, quiet, and detailed music. Well, if we were comparing this to the first Devil May Cry, I know that game in particular. While it had some rock and uh, soundtrack moments, its music was very uh, gothic, orchestra themed. And yes, it was fantastic music. The, this entire game series, up until the Dino saga, had really great music. We don't music. talk about Dino yet. Dino does not exist. This game's good. We talk about the good stuff. Yeah. This. This is Dante. This is the we'll talk about Dino when he can grow. I hope that day comes. So now we have Steve. And it is my favorite move to pull off. It we only have one of the biggest things when it comes to melee combat in any game. It comes down to how quickly can I close the gap between myself and the enemy? Stinger is the problem. And I really like these exploding enemies because you can blow up a bunch of enemies with them. And if you know what you're doing, you actually will never get hit by their explosions. Yeah, I think I'm happy. I think their melee damage kind of like bounces off of them. And just think, if Capcom would have went ahead with the original idea for Resident Evil 4, i.e. the original Devil May Cry, we would have been talking about a completely different game here. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm glad they did eventually just made Devil May Cry its own game. It wouldn't have been nearly as uh, interesting if I did. So this is the first quote-unquote boss. Tell you the monster we got how far visible. Yep. He he's kind of a pushover though. As you can tell. Uh, yeah, he's mostly a big pushover in this game. I, I do remember like when I first played this on the original game that wasn't the special edition. Uh this boss kicked my ass. Oh, it was kinda of because well, they he was default to the hard mode instead of normal mode. There was no normal mode. Yeah, the special edition kind of fixed that little issue there. Uh, fix is maybe not the right word. Or, or word. It just balanced things a bit better for people that are not used to this style of gameplay. You guys if by use, ask you mean make it reasonable. You guys could have asked for a hard mode playthrough if you wanted to. Yeah, but I said whatever mode you. We just said whatever you wanted. You're the one playing Dude, eventually. It's, it's DMC3. Normal or hard mode, you're still getting kick ass music, great combat mechanics, and an awesome storyline. 
Yeah, really though, don't, don't they, for the most part, on easy mode, uh, I believe minute. easy mode Where does basically just gives you a bunch of healing items and stuff. And lower enemy damage, and less dangerous enemies, and less enemies. Basically, easy mode is hand-holding mode, and we don't acknowledge its, its existence because it's too easy. Yeah, that's kind of what I've always thought about the Devil May Cry series. Being good at it is its own reward. Just watching yourself pull off such huge combos is basically rewarded it's of itself. Yeah, especially, and you can, uh, and when you see that you're consistently keeping your, uh, your you style got, rank you at triple S, for me. that is amazing. Yep. No, he can't hear you. He... he can still yell it. Dante kinda has to have, fill that egotistical part of him. Let him yell. Yeah, he likes to yell. Thanks for joining us for part one of Devil May Cry 3. Hope to see you again next time.